Good evening and welcome. You're watching the news track. I'm Rahul Kamal. On a day when Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal skipped summons by the Enforcement Directorate, I asked the question, is the AAP likely to disintegrate as a result of concerted action by investigative agencies or will Kejriwal and the Ahmadmi Party actually emerge stronger by winning public sympathy? That's my top focus on the news track. This is shamelessness. Running away from the agencies who are probing the truth is shamelessness. Kejriwal skips summons. But there's ED to arrest him. Kejriwal ko giraftar karenge, Kejriwal ko giraftar karenge. Kejriwal ke shareer ko to giraftar kar loge. Will ED action hurt up? Or will sympathy factor work? What next for up and Kejriwal? Big focus on news track. Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi Chief Minister, was to appear before the Enforcement Directorate for questioning in the liquor policy scam today. Instead, the Delhi CM flew down to Singroli in Madhya Pradesh where he campaigned for the Aam Aadmi Party and dared the Narendra, gov Narendra, government, Narendra Modi government to arrest him. Kejriwal is the third major AAP neta after Mani Sisodia and Sanjay Singh who is under the scanner in the liquor gates game. The question though is, will the central agency's action help or hurt the Aam Aadmi Party? Aam Aadmi Party's tallest leader under ED scanner. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was summoned by the ED in Liquor Gate Pro, but he dug the summon to attend his Madhya Pradesh poll rally. Kejriwal leveled big allegations against the ED, saying that the probe agency is working hand in glove with the BJP. He claimed that his ED summon was leaked to the BJP Netas and that it is nothing but a bit to stop him from poll campaign. Delhi ke andar kroj khado ke dhamki de rahe Kejriwal ko giraftar karenge Kejriwal ko giraftar karenge Kejriwal ke shareer ko to giraftar kar loge Kejriwal ki soch ko kaise giraftar karenge the BJP fired cutter corrupt jibe at Kejriwal, citing multiple arrests and scam heat on AAP top guns. This is a summon. 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 This is बाद में सिद्ध हुआ कि ये कट्टर बेईमान है और आज तो ये सिद्ध हुआ है कि जो कट्टर बेईमान है वो कट्टर बेशरम भी है द इंडिया ब्लॉक हाउएवर स्प्लिट ऑन स्कैम हीट ऑन केजरीवाल व्हाइल आरजेडी बैक्ड केजरीवाल पंजाब कांग्रेस स्लैम्ड हिम बीजेपी घूम रही है ईडी नहीं है मुझको तो उन ऑफिसर्स की चिंता है वो सोते कैसे होंगे कि थोड़ा सा बाहम मरोड़ा नहीं सत्ता ने आप तो लौट गए भाई उनकी चिंता होती है कि कल को जब परिवर्तन होगा सत्ता में कैसे देखेंगे एनआईए ये जो आज का उनका ना जाना है ये चोर की दाढ़ी में तिनका है इसका बड़ा सिंपल सा आधार है कि आपने ये पहले कहा था कि मंदिर हो सड़कें हो गलियां हो कॉलेज हो लेडीज हम वहां शराब नहीं बिकने देंगे देन ऑल ऑफ अ सडन यू बॉट अ पॉलिसी Former Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia, AAP MP Sanjay Singh, two of Kejriwal's closest states are already behind bars in Delhi's liquor scam. Is the clock ticking for Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as well? With Amit Bharadwaj and Shreya Chatterjee in Delhi, Vera Report, India Today. So will the Aam Aadmi Party disintegrate because of the incessant pressure being applied 
by India's investigative agencies or could AAP actually bounce back stronger by being able to garner public sympathy? To talk about this, uh, I'm joined on the news track by uh, Gaurav Bhatia, national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party, squaring off against him will be Jasmine Shah of the Ahmadmi Party and Ashutosh, who's been in the Ahmadmi Party and is also a leading political analyst. Gaurav Bhatia, I want to come to you first. The history of Indian politics suggests that every single time any leader has been targeted by investigating agencies, more often than not, he is able to garner public sympathy, that the voters typically tend to think that uh, a leader is being targeted because uh, the government of the day didn't like him and it's benefited many leaders and parties in the past. Does the BJP run the risk in this concerted action by investigative agencies of actually turning Kejriwal into some kind of a martyr and helping him get public sympathy? Let's start from there with Gaurav Bhatia. Rahul, first of all, uh, let us understand that when Narendra Modi ji was elected as the Prime Minister of the country, every citizen had a lot of expectations from him and they felt here is an honest man who will clean up the system and the policy and the mantra of this government has been zero tolerance for corruption, eradicating corruption from the country. Now, whether if action is taken against an alleged corrupt leader will result into political gains or not can be a subject matter of another debate. But I will tell you the Bharti Janta Party believes that people of India want honest politicians who are dedicated to the cause of the common man rather than indulging in deeds of corruption. So that brings me to the first point. My first point would be Rahul. We all remember how Arvind Kejriwal entered Indian politics on the plank of eradicating corruption. I corruption ko khatam kar dunga. Today, should the same standard not be applied to Arvind Kejriwal who had said that even if there are charges of corruption, a person should resign from his post. So I think Arvind Kejriwal, now is the time to resign from the post of the Chief Minister because it was under your influence only, under your diktat, that this liquor policy was implemented. Second, okay. is Arvind Kejriwal above the law of the country? When the Supreme Court, in its judgment, rejecting bail of Manish Shishodia, has clearly stated that prima facie, there are serious charges against the former deputy CM who was called Kattar Imandar, but turned out to be Kattar Bhaiman, then why should Arvind Kejriwal not be questioned? Okay, so you've point, set the ground for the debate. I'll come back to, to you, Gaurav Bhatia, in just a then, moment for more. I want to go across okay. to Jasmine Shah okay. and get the first uh, comments okay. from him. The question that's being asked by the BJP, by the Congress and others is, is Arvind Kejriwal above the law? When the Enforcement Directorate summoned him, why did he not just come and present himself to the ED, answer the questions of the ED? And if he is indeed a Kattari Mandar, then there would have been nothing to worry about. The fact that he chose to skip the ED summons, as uh, Navjot Singh Sidhu puts it, suggests that Chor Ki Dadi Me Tinka, that he's running away for the investigative agencies. Jasmine Shah. Rahul, I'll answer your question in just a moment. <clears throat> I want to start by posing a question to Gaurav Bhatia. And for your viewers, this is something very interesting because n nine years back when Prime Minister Modi became Prime Minister, he promised that he'll eradicate corruption. Now it's been nine years that he's been a Prime Minister. He's been one of the most powerful Prime Ministers the country has seen. Let's ask the question that so far, how many corruption scams the investigation has been concluded, people have been convicted and put behind bars? You tell us. In nine years, how many uh, corruption scams have you unearthed? And no, trial shuru hone se kuch nahi hota. These are all political trials. You have to conclude the court has to hold guilty and you have to imprison people. Number two, <clears throat> coming to Aam Aadmi Party, in the last eight years or nine years that we have been ruling in Delhi, Rahul, 170 cases have been filed against Aam Aadmi Party leaders. So 
we have also been you know analyzed and scrutinized from every single way not one of these cases has resulted in a conviction even in this fake liquor scam that bjp has been alleging for 2 years for the last 2 years 1000 raids have taken place 500 witnesses have been summoned not a single rupee of recovery not a single rupee evidence of single rupee being uh, uh, you know there with any aam aadmi party leader beat mani sisodia or anybody else therefore now coming to the question of why did mr kejriwal uh, uh, not uh, you know respond to the ed summons today see we appreciate that cbi and ed are investigative agencies of the country in fact mr kejriwal was summoned by cbi in april and he appeared and there was 9 hours of questioning but that doesn't mean that they do not operate by law any investigative agency has to function within the bounds of law there has to be checks and balances mr kejriwal asked a simple question that there is a very serious uh, uh, interpretation of political influence in this summons why because the day mr Siso so far the ed was quiet but the day mr sisodia's bail order was uh, declined by the supreme court in a few hours all the top notch bjp leaders started saying ab inko ed ka summons aayega aur ed arrest karegi what happens in a few hours ed summons actually arrives okay even today when mr kejriwal responded to ed ED did not give any statement. It is the BJP that did a press conference and said these are the questions that ED will ask. So the question is: Is ED today really a neutral agency? We have no problems with uh, uh, investigation by the ED. We will appear. But today, the manner in which this was done, it was completely cooked up as a political uh, uh, move. Okay. So and before second, I go to ask you, uh, let's get uh, Gaurav Bhatia to very quickly answer that. Fighting. That BJP so seems to be setting the agenda for the ED. BJP says Kejriwal will be summoned and arrested by the ED, and later Kejriwal gets summons. It's almost as if you are telling the ED what to do. Respond to that, and then I go to Ashutosh. Raul, you got your fact wrong there. It's not uh, we who are telling the ED to do a particular task. It is Arvind Kejriwal who thinks he is above the law of the country, even above the investigating agency ED. That in his letter today, he has clearly ordered the ED to recall the summon. Unheard of. Now going by what Mr. Jasmin is saying, a very simple question that all residents are asking. say this is the case of political vendetta and just for the sake of argument if a political party is dictating what needs to be done to an investigating agency there is a ground for quashing of the entire case cbi and ed it is in the bhajan lal case the supreme court has said political vendetta is a valid ground for quashing of the entire case this fir rahul was registered on 17th of august 2022 that means they were around 14 months mr kejriwal manish shodia sanjay singh vijay nair all members of the rajya kaprad party papi aap could have moved the supreme court or the high court to okay. get all the charges quashed why is arvind kejriwal not going to the court that is the question that needs to be answered okay. and second, so we come to that these political parties 14 of them move the supreme court and they allege the very same you know allegations that are being repeated here the honorable supreme court dismissed the petition so let's speak on facts thank okay. you okay i want to go across to ashutosh now you've been in the aam aadmi party for a while now you're on the outside you understand the inner dynamics in the hypothetical situation ashutosh if arvind kejriwal were to be arrested will the aam aadmi party be able to hold together or do you fear that if the delhi cm gets arrested no matter who gets appointed to replace him whether it's a saurabh bhardwaj or an atish or someone else that a large number of mlas may start uh, moving away from the party what's your sense will the aap survive this uh, rahul it's a, it's, a, it's a very difficult question to answer for the simple reason because uh, aam aadmi party first time will be facing a crisis like this where their topmost leader and the chief minister of delhi is going to be arrested and i am dead sure that he will be arrested whether it is a, he is going to be arrested in the next summoning or the next next summoning that's a political decision which will be taken later but the point of the fact is because aam aadmi party unlike uh, rjd and ai dmk because uh, in those parties the chief minister lalu prasad yadav was arrested and jalalita was arrested those party could survive the onslaught of the investigating agencies because they had A, a longish uh, political legacy as well as uh, uh, not uh, legacy but as well as an institutional memory 
अनफॉर्चुनेटली आम आदमी पार्टी डू नॉट हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ अ लग्जरी डू नॉट हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ अर प्रिवलेजेस आम आदमी पार्टी हेज नेवर फेस अ सिचुएशन लाइक दिस इन द पास फॉर अ सिंपल रीजन बिकॉज इट्स अ न्यू पार्टी इट इज लेड बाई पीपल हु हैड वेरी लिटिल एक्सपीरियंस इन पॉलिटिक्स सो हाउ द पार्टी विल रिएक्ट इन द एबसेंस ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल दैट हैज टू बी सेन एंड दैट विल set the benchmark for its maturity because what i see the two leaders which could have really mattered in the absence of arvind kejriwal one manish sodia and sanjay singh because both of them had a larger acceptability within the party hierarchy and also outside the party uh, outside the supporters who work on the card in, in on the ground except these three i don't see anybody who has that kind of acceptability within the party and outside the party so in the in the absence of all three in the absence of all three uh, the party has to really see see maturity has to, has to show maturity and party also have to understand that whosoever is going to be to replace arvind kejriwal as chief minister of delhi uh, rest has to come together and help him or her otherwise uh, no so you know one second sir you are giving us very generic uh, answers ashutosh you've been the ultimate inside i must press you to give a specific answer of the lot of leaders who would be available if uh, the delhi cm were to be arrested who do you think is likely to be the best cm and will that person be able to hold the app together or will it disintegrate respond to the question as best as you see it ashutosh no, no there, there is there is no question of disintegration app will not disintegrate those who are who who are, who are uh, uh, imagining that aap will disintegrate that will not happen uh, but who will replace arvind kejriwal it's only arvind kejriwal who knows it or if he has hinted somebody else i do not know uh, in my opinion i think uh, three best suited person could be if i put my neck out one uh, is atishi uh, uh, marlena uh, second could be gopal rai and uh, third uh, i uh, maybe saurabh bhardwaj or somebody else uh, gopal rai is is for the simple reason because he is politically an astute person he has a good ex- he has he has he is a longest experience in politics he knows how to manage politics and how to interact and how to uh, in- interact atishi for the simple reason because she has been given the maximum department the responsibility the maximum department as uh, uh, arvind kejriwal has shown trust in manish sodia so as a as a as a minister i think she is a very efficient minister but the chief minister post is not only managing the department and the ministry but also managing the politics vis-a-vis a hostile left wing governor and the hostile opposition uh, party in the, in in the, in the assembly in that sense uh, uh, i do not know but anybody who will become the chief minister will have will have jasmine shah is this trust. something that you already war gaming who may come in if uh, the delhi cm is arrested uh, ashutosh senses as is the sense of a lot of people who are tracking the story that at some point in time as a political decision there is a possibility that the delhi cm could be arrested are you fearful that some of your mlas may leave that the party will then be under definite pressure jasmine shah not at all rahul i am least worried for aap what i am worried today is about the nation because this is not about aap ever since the india coalition india alliance has been formed you will see the numbers of ed and cbi raids solely targeted at opposition leaders unless and until they get into the washing machine scheme of bjp and come to bjp has only been happening on uh, opposition leaders and it's been increasing every month on month so today it is arvind kejriwal tomorrow tejasvi yadav is going to be jailed we know that uh, mamta banerjee is also under the target mr gelot is under the target stalin is under the target and if the entire opposition is going to be under jail tell me what is the difference between uh, what we see today in india and emergency years or what happens in a dictatorship uh, that we always hear about that is the real question that the people of the nation today should ask and let's talk about data gaurav bhatia said many things but let him answer the question uh, uh, respond to this question that why is it that in the last 9 uh, years of modi government 95% of cbi and ed cases are happening only against opposition leader has never happened in the history of india big big corrupt people you know people whom modi has said that 70000 crore ka scam kiya people like ajit pawar the moment they joined bjp and made the finance minister of their government chagar okay. bujbal 
talk about uh, Himanta Bishwa Sharma. None of these people are even summoned. And today they are they have the goal of saying that we corruption. But this is an important point that Jasmine Shah makes. One case that you have solved. The likes of Ajit Pawar against whom the Delhi, the Maharashtra CM at that time, Devinder Fadnavis and others in your party were. Yeah, you including the Prime Minister were attacking so aggressively, alleging that they were involved in a 70,000 crore rupee irrigation scam. The moment they join you, then suddenly they are Dutka Dula and all those crimes are forgotten. It's not even done in a subtle way, it's done so overtly that it's visible as day. What happened to any investigation against the likes of Ajit Pawar, who the Prime Minister and many in the BJP called corrupt number one? Rahul, is that question to me? No, it's for, for Garabhatiya. I'm so glad that the nation is watching that uh, certain... Yes, can, I, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Can I reply? Yes, thank you. Rahul, I'm so delighted that the nation is watching. It is not relevant right now in the debate that the AAP spokesperson cannot even say that Arvind Kejriwal is Kattar Imanda. That means... He is admitting he is cutter by man too. I raised a question. Why is he not moving the Supreme Court and the High Court to get all the charges quashed and even the summon quashed? Did you get a reply? No, you did not. Third, the GOM that was constituted, which decided that there would be an expert committee to evolve, a new liquor policy was headed by Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister. It is also on record that he said to one of the accused person that Vijay Nair mera ladka hai. He is also an accused. So is he not culpable also? Third, the PA to the chief minister destroyed four handsets. Manish Shodia destroyed two mobile phones. That is also part of the order. No, but you're not answering the question about why all the action is against those who are opposed to your government and once they join your coalition, then no action is taken against them, including the likes of Ajit Pawar, who you called India's most corrupt politician. Yes, I will answer. Rahul, I thought that these questions that I am raising are very, very relevant, but I think to you they might not be relevant. So I think I have made my point. Now I'll come to your question to answer. So their defense, could it be that because others are corrupt, that therefore we are corrupt? No, it can't be. But I will show you what has changed in the ED and CBI, especially the ED. Now from 2005 to 2014, the number of raids that were conducted were 112. Now they are 3,010. No and the property that was seized from 2005 to 2014 was 5,346 crore. Now it has gone to 1,4,000 crore. What does it show? An honest government that has given a free hand to the ED to take action. Second, okay. 14 parties went to the Supreme Court. Their petition was dismissed. Third, Sukhpal Khera, you remember? A Congress MLA who was arrested by the Punjab police and they said, no, it is not political vendetta. Action should be taken. But when same action is taken against corrupt Amadi party leaders, they say political vendetta. Okay, but uh, you aren't answering the, the question you about Ajit Pawar and why no action is being taken against him. But I've asked you that question twice. You aren't answering that question. I will answer. Yes, I'm because to I also that. want to go across to Yashwan Deshmukh who is now joining I'm us. Come to I'm Ajit Pawar. That. Come yes. to the likes of Hemant Biswa Sarma and everybody else who when they're in opposition yes. are very strongly corrupt and when they join yes. you are so suddenly it's... all dood ka dula. So again, you are factually wrong, Rahul. Himant Biswa Sarma ji himself had given the details over X and he told us that he is a witness in the case. Witness. That means the court has taken cognizance and he is not an accused person. Two, you remember Mukul Roy? Mukul Roy jumped the ship from TMC to BJP. He joined the BJP but was still interrogated and charged by the CBI while he was in the BJP. Now he has gone back to the TMC. Is he corrupt now? Or is washing machine mein dhul gaya? Third, Suvendu Adhikari. He has also been charge cheated by the CBI. But you I aren't coming you to date, Ajit Pawar. You May don't respond to Ajit Pawar. So, Mukul Roy is now come back to in Ajit the Pavar TMC. Also. Why not? I have given you three examples. I will. I gave you three. You took Himant's name. I gave you a reply. 
Suvendu Adhikari, Mukul Roy. Now I will come to Ajit Pawar. In the case that was mentioned, you listen to the Prime Minister's speech. He said, there is corruption, action will be taken. He never named the leader. And it is for the investigating agency to ultimately take action and file a charge sheet. In that case, also the investigating agency is doing its job. If anybody is aggrieved by that, they can move the court. Why don't they move okay. the court rather okay. than raising the issue on your program and on TV debates? Okay, I is want to go across now answer? to Yashwan Thank Deshmukh. You. Yashwan Deshmukh looked at from a data analytics perspective in the hypothetical situation, if the Delhi CM ends up in jail like Manish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh and many others in the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, will that lead to an erosion in the vote bank of the AAP, which isn't an ideologically committed vote bank? It's not like there's Hindutva which unites uh, the voters. It comes together largely on class aspirations. Uh, or do you think the Chief Minister actually gets public sympathy and it reinforces the AAP's message and statement? What's your reading? Yashwan Deshmukh. Well, uh, Rahul, I will only talk about the few data points and the uh, and the uh, conventional wisdom of political reaction that I have seen uh, in last few decades uh, at large. Uh, as far as Delhi numbers are concerned, in uh, Arvind Kejriwal's name has been consistently there in the top five chief ministers of Delhi all along uh, in all our MOTN surveys. So, largely speaking, Delhi voters per se are. Uh, have been showing high rating of Arvind Kejriwal. Now, corruption charges or, he, or pro his probability of uh, being arrested, <clears throat> will that make a dent or not? That is something which we'll have to, uh, you know, uh, uh, conduct fresh surveys in the track. No, 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 don't, don't, don't dodge and duck my yeah. question. Of course, you'll yeah. conduct a fresh survey. Answer as best as you can from what you know at the moment about whether a possible arrest create sympathy or does it erode vote bank? What's your best sense? I, my conventional understanding of politics says that uh, a political arrest largely results in a sympathy. You know, why, why I am saying so that people who have been arrested or even convicted, Rahul, for that matter, uh, Ashtosh named a uh, couple of leaders, Jalalita, Lalu Yadav, uh, their numbers largely have not only remained intact, they have kind of gone up. So sometimes or largely most of the times I have seen the leaders who have evaded uh, or, or they have feared the arrest, their numbers have gone down largely. But otherwise, these arrests or these uh, uh, interrogations, if you have a committed vote base, it, it kind of creates uh, more or less a sympathy view. Now, no, the but question can I, can, whether can I has, Aam Aadmi Party has a committed vote base or not, that is the largely question, you know, that is to be asked. Uh, we will know how it reacts. But even the new party, uh, uh, new party, idea of a new party, which I can compare up to is, is AGP in Can I present a counter perspective, Ashutosh, to suggest that while conventional theory has been that you gain sympathy if there is political action against you by investigative agencies, and in many cases we've seen that. However, now we're in the attention economy where because of social media, so much information overload, if you're out of sight, you're out of mind, which essentially suggests that like... Uh, let's say a Manish Sisodia is in jail or a Sanjay Singh is in jail. For a while, it seems like a very emergent issue and then later people forget because they get on to the next thing that's on Twitter uh, or Facebook or on Instagram and aren't keeping uh, that particular leader in mind. So unlike earlier when there was lesser information competition, now because of information competition, unless you're out there and seen, you, you may be forgotten. Is that is that something that concerns you? Uh Rahul, two things. First of all, I uh, do not see that uh, sympathy will add or delete anything for a, for Abadi party. I think it, it, it's going to be the status quo uh, for two simple reasons. One, uh, because the Supreme Court verdict on the bail of Manish Sishodhya is very, very important. And that's why the, uh, the ED has moved against Arvind Kejriwal. Because everybody thought that the, this case is a frivolous case and Arvind Kej uh, Manish Sishodhya will get bail. So there was a moral edge which which uh, uh, Ahmadi party had 
uh, you remember how the Supreme Court has said, where is the evidence and just one approver will not uh, suffice for everything else. But Supreme Court very categorically denied and not only denied, but ensured also, I'm using the word ensured, that Manish Sishodhya will remain in jail at least for another three to four years, uh, three, three to four months. Still in this country, Supreme Court holds a lot of respect in the eyes of the people. Once the Supreme Court has denied bail in Manish Sishodhya case, that's where that's the most dangerous part for the Ahmadi party. Because it will be difficult for the Ahmadi party to make people believe that this is a frivolous case and a false case. Let, let Jasmine and, Shah respond to the point that you're making, that the AAP was hoping hard that Mani Sisodia will get bail. In fact, the AAP was convinced that Sisodia was going to get bail. But because the Supreme Court has said in the bail order that the money trail of 338 crore rupees has been tentatively established, therefore, it now makes the public case much harder for up because people, as Ashutosh says, still largely believe in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has tentatively found a money trail to be established. That really means bad news because people will look at it, they won't see vendetta, they'll say, okay, the Supreme Court seems to have validated what the ED did. Actually, no, uh, Rahul. The Supreme Court's order is in the favor of AAP in some way. And I'll tell you why before I come to the uh, bail order, the final decision itself. What were the ED's main arguments? ED's main arguments were twofold. One, Mani Sisodia took 2.2 crore from some person and which directly went to Mani Sisodia. When that matter came up and in the judgment at uh, page number 21, it is very clearly written that as far as this 2.2 crore uh, matter is, question, uh, is concerned, it is not even a part of the CBI charge sheet, which means it's not even a predicate offense. Therefore, PMLA doesn't even come into the picture. Number two, what ED said is that some 100 crore has gone to Aam Aadmi Party for Goa elections. Even on that matter at page 22, the Supreme Court order says this seems to be a matter of debate. So on the two primary charges that ED said ki lain den hua hai, Actually, the court has observed on in, in paper that nothing, there's not a shred of evidence on that. The limited point the court made is a sum of 338 crores, which has been as a commission or commission to all the wholesale distributors, not one or two parties. All the distributors that were part of the policy received a certain profit margin. And that is what the court has said is that this seems to be a, a problem. It has not used, if you carefully read the words of the Supreme Court order, it has not said that this is a money trail or this amount has transferred. So, yes, but we disagree with the final decision that even this amount was used where there is absolutely no yeah, connection gone. of Mr. Manish Sisodia with even a single rupee of whatever profits were made. Uh, why should he still be under arrest? So we will challenge the order. But if you read the order, it is very clear that it actually is in the favor of AAP that for the last two years, after 1,000 raids, after 500 witnesses summoned, many of them slapped and, and intimidated, Rowley's not a shred of, of recovery has been made, not a okay. single rupee no, has been connected no, with any AAP. And, and, and that was ultimately that Gaurav Bhatti, as you know well, the problem with the 2G case as well. In court, it all seemed very dramatic. During the investigation, it seemed there was evidence, but you couldn't establish a money trail going back to a Raja Khani Modi. And in this case, no money trail so far found going back to Sisodia, which is what may mean that the end judgment in the case might be different from what's appeared in the bail order. Rahul, a seasoned anchor like you citing an example of 2G, and I'm sure that now you would recall 122 licenses cancelled by the Supreme Court and that judgment was final, never overturned. So that itself shows the corruption of the UPA. And now let me tell you that even in this judgment that we are talking about, which has been rendered by the Supreme Court, bail was not granted one. And I have two, three findings which are very important for the viewers because the AAP spokesperson is misleading them. The first is, para 21, page 30. And the Supreme Court holds, and I'm quoting now, however, there is one clear charge in the complaint filed under the PMLA, which is free from perceptible legal challenge, and the facts as alleged are tentatively supported by material and evidence. One, two, the excess amount of 7% commission fee earned by the wholesale distributors of rupees 338 crores constitute an offence as defined under Section 7 
and in the end they note this amount was earned by the wholesale distributors in a short span of 10 months this figure cannot be disputed or challenged third very important finding thus the new policy was meant to give windfall gains to select few wholesale okay. distributors who in turn had agreed to give kickbacks and bribes now coming to the point that you were making whether corruption will be an issue or not i will tell you corruption has been a major issue when people feel there is an honest alternative i 2014 upa2 why was it booted out because of corruption 2013 sheila dikshit it was arvind kejriwal who had raised the issue of corruption booted out 2017 samajwadi party booted out of uttar pradesh because of corruption charges and last but not the least 2012 bsp mayawati booted out because of the scams that were committed during the regime so corruption will always be okay. an issue so we've and heard from the bjp Narendra we've heard the from the aam aadmi party we've heard from ashutosh America. and from uh, data expert yashwan deshmukh i want jasmine shah and gaurav bhatia to stay with me because i want to pivot now to the issue of pollution because the biggest problem being faced in north india at this moment and particularly in the national capital region is that of this air apocalypse uh it's that time of the year national capital turned into a massive gas chamber again delhi recorded its worst ever air quality anand vihar registering an aqi of 740 other areas in the capital in very poor air quality category satellite images shown by nasa show a massive shroud of smoke over delhi Uh, Noida was the most polluted city in the cap in the country, rec recording an AQI of 795. And the worst part is that the air quality could get a lot worse, with farm fires increasing in Punjab and Delhi. Uh, the Delhi government has put construction activities on hold for the moment, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Jasmine Shah, for the last several weeks, the government has been claiming in Delhi that farm fires in Punjab are down, that things are getting better. those claims now out of the chimney it's as bad look at those nasa images now on your screen ladies and gentlemen it looks like it's a cloud cover but it's not a cloud cover this is hazardous air and we are choking on your watch both in punjab and in delhi jasmine rahul rahul first let me state three irrefutable facts because we are having a pollution debate and we should talk about facts and scientific facts first fact number 1 30 percentage only 30 percentage of the pollution that we face in delhi is coming from sources within delhi the remaining 70 percentage is coming from outside which is up haryana and during the stubble season even punjab we don't say this the center for science and environment says that number 2 as far as the actions on pollutions is concerned today it is only the chief minister of delhi who is even talking about pollution not just today for the last 8 or 9 years actions that delhi has taken up or haryana don't bother to take any of these actions and i'll tell you in 30 seconds what are some of these actions but the question is if this is a regional problem then why is it that the up chief minister is not answerable the haryana chief minister is not no, answerable no but no one second why is the prime no, minister of india not I answerable no, in the indo gangetic place i just want to call that map out is, this uh, is a map is... from earlier today no sir no sir no, no, just put it put it full frame the map of del the map of north india which has the farm fires in punjab now if the congress were running punjab or akalis were running punjab it would be a different matter look at that just just run it full frame so that uh, jasmine shah can see it our viewers can see it the maximum concentration I, of farm uh, sorry, fires I, sir, I, is in punjab i don't punjab. have a screen in front no, of me no that's fine Rahul. just believe what i'm saying our viewers can see it you know uttar pradesh no Haryana, i agree with you rahul uh, i'm not disputing that pro there's a let massive me, concentration of farm fires all across punjab at this moment and it's happening on your watch jasmine shah absolutely uh, uh, rahul there is no disputing the fact that farm fires in punjab is still a problem if you look at the actions over the last 3 years year on year there has been a decline has it been satisfactory possibly not lot more needs to be done lot more is being done 
but let's also not trivialize this entire air pollution problem as a single state problem my point is if the entire people of north india are facing this problem where is the prime minister of india what is his action plan on pollution and i'll say give me 30 seconds because the steps delhi has taken in the last 8 years no other state in north india has taken number 1 delhi has shut down all its thermal power plants has any action like this been taken by haryana or up no coal power plants are still running Public transport, number of buses that Delhi has increased over the last seven years is 50%. From 5,000, we are today at 7,500. 80% of these our buses are going to be electric in the next two years. Delhi has the most progressive electric vehicle policy. 17% okay. of our new vehicles are electric vehicles. Such so, a policy doesn't even exist in Haryana and UP. So there are numerous such actions that we are taking. But if 70% of Delhi's pollution is going to be outside, then the question should be, what is Haryana and UP doing and what is Punjab doing? I'm telling you on Punjab's behalf, year on year, there has been a decline. Okay. We are optimistic this year Jasmine also. Shah we are argues, the peak of the season. Maybe another, give it three days, it will Whatever aap and aap can do in Delhi, in Punjab, it's doing. It's because the central government and your state governments aren't taking this problem seriously that it's not being addressed. Gaurav Bhatia. Okay, so I think he's uh, lying and his facts are also not right. Let me share the real facts with you. First of all, you remember when there was an AAP government in Delhi, and there still is, in Let Punjab, it was the Congress to... government. Arvind Kejriwal conducted a press conference, blamed the Punjab government, and he said it is because of the inefficiency of the Punjab government that the Delhi state is facing this problem. Now, when they have governments in both states, they've started blaming other states. But the facts are these. Do you know Gopal Rai today made a statement, Rahul, and he said that it is the central government to be blamed. What are you doing as the minister concerned? When Supreme Court is issuing notice, even to Delhi and Punjab, and they are saying that the number of stubble burning cases have increased by 33%. And of last year also, I had done a press conference, I'll share the data. The central government assistance to Punjab was the highest at 1347 crore. They could not utilize the fund. Haryana was given 693 crore. The number of cases of stubble burning came down in Haryana, but they went up in Punjab. Second, the machines that were provided to the Punjab government, they went missing. 12,000 machines vanished. And they could not even use those. Third, it must be told to the AAP government, it is due to the inefficiency. They are busy swindling the money that is of the okay. people rather than focusing on the you issues know, that concern them. Uh, what I'm going and to that do is, is why this failure of the Punjab government Ra and Ra 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 quick response. No, once again, you know, we will find, we'll find uh, tomorrow or in the coming days a full discussion, detailed, elaborate discussion on pollution One in response. Punjab. One quick response. Sir, India has also won ask. the match. So, Nikhil Naz is standing by. Okay, Jasmine Chah, 20 seconds, wrap up because India has just won a match. I want to spend some time on that big victory because we've just entered the semi-finals. Yes, I, I just, I just, I just want to bust all the falsehoods Gaurav Bhatia is saying. He has no idea about the reality. I'll just state one number. Until 29th of this, October, the are there were 5,254 uh, 5, active fire incidents in Punjab. Last year, as on 29th of October, these were 12,112. So as on 29th of October, there has been a reduction of 57%. Gaurav, please don't. Please, please don't speak over me. Let's have a civil it debate. It is the I highest the Supreme Court I'm saying has year on year there has the been a 57 percentage He's decrease. Not even aware of These that. are official data. And Gopal so let's not Rai mislead people. Let's not say yes, speaking over each other. Just because of a political of bayan dene. Let's speak facts. Let's speak okay. numbers. So we'll, no, I are promise our viewers, it's our commitment. We'll do a full show on pollution. Very, very soon, we're going to do a full show on pollution because the situation is getting from bad to worse. Uh, for the moment, Jasmine Shah and uh, Gaurav Bhatia, thank you for joining me.